Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part series of our real estate mobile app. In our previous video, we built up the onboarding page as you can see over here. If you missed that tutorial, you can find the link in the description below. In today's tutorial, you continue with the home page. So, with that said, let's jump right in. So, this is the design of the home page, right? So, we start building from the top, the about section, also the search bar, then we proceed from there. So i'll start by extracting the team from the context right and for that i'll be creating a variable of team and assign it a value of team dot of context so you can have access to the theme and i'll get rid of this center over here and retain a safe area right and this basically prevents it from being at the notch area the content from being at the notch gate so the chart of the safe area is going to be a column so in this column this in the children right and in this children we are going to retain the row so this way we are going to build our abba right so we need to place all these contents in the row format we are going to align it horizontally and the first widget is going to be the container widget right so with the container let's give it a width of 45 height of 45 a decoration so the decoration takes in the bus decoration So here we need to pass in a shape and it's going to be box shape dot circle you give it a color as well right and that's going to be our theme dot primary color there we go let's also give it a border right so with the border it's going to be but that dot all so in here we can pass in the color right an outline border so the color is going to be colors dot white saving the changes so let's change the background color of the scaffold so it's going to be team dot primary color and that changes accordingly so let's wrap the row in a padding widget and this padding is going to affect all size a value of 16 right So the chart of the container is going to be an icon right and the icon name is going to be the home icon so icon into bracket icons dot home underscore outline and let's change the color of the icon it's going to be a white color saving the changes there we go so next to this icon is going to be a text right and for that we'll be separating it with a spacer widget that will provide a space for us right so we are still in this row we need to provide a space our widget over here and below this space our widget we are going to have a column right we are going to place two tests in this column so let's set the main axis alignment of this column to be main axis alignment of center so in this column we are going to have a test right a test of Karen's location. So let's proceed to start this test, right? So in here, you can use our theme variable where we can access the test team over here. So theme dot test team dot body small. Then make some modification you see the copy with method right so in this copy with you need to change the color to be white so colors dot white it's actually a gray color so let's use dot with opacity and have a different shades of this white so 0 0.7 there we go So below the test is going to be another test, right? And an icon, right? And for that, I'll be separating it in a row widget. So there's going to be a row with the children, right? So the first widget in here is going to be um the test widget. So in here, the test will be changed to be the actual location. So we need to change in the text over here. And 
can also proceed to change the stylings in here so it's going to be team dot test team dot body medium right then we copy it and the color is going to maintain as white right so over here i'm going to have an icon that's going to be the location icon so it's going to be location underscore on then we need to change the color of this icon right and also reduce the size as well so the color is going to be a white color So let's also change the size as well in here. The size is going to be 18. So next to the test is going to be another icon widget, right? And for that, I'll be copying this icon and repeat it. So in here, I'll be changing in the name of the icon. That's going to be the keyboard arrow down. There we go. So we need one more additional spacer to also push this to the very end. So let's save in the changes over here. There we go, right. And the last widget to be placed at the very end is, is going to be the location icon, right. And for that, I'll be placing it in an icon button, right. That comes with the on press and also the icon. So the icon is going to be the notification underscore non icon. With the icon widget you can pass in the notification icon dot notification as for none so let's proceed to change the color of this icon and it's going to be a white icon there we go Let's start this icon button, right? So with the style attribute, we are going to use elevated button dot star from. So here we're changing the background color. That's going to be colors dot white with opacity. We provide a value to be 0 0.4, saving the changes. You can see it reflects. So the next step is to build the search bar. I think we are done with the bar and that looks pretty much similar over here so let's proceed with the search bar and also the filter icon in here right so below over here i'm going to have a size box right to provide a vertical spacing so let's give this size box a height of 12. and below that size box is where we are going to provide um our search bar widget right so it's going to be in the row format with the filter icon right so you need to be in the row widget so you're going to have an expander widget in here and the chart of this expander widget is going to be a container so in this container we need to set a pattern in this container to give enough spacing around it right so with the edge inset this pattern is going to affect it symmetrically with a horizontal value of 16 that's left and right so once we have that we need to proceed to give this container decoration so with this box decoration you can pass in the color and the color is going to be white with opacity of 0 0.4 you also need to give it a border radius as well right so this border radius is going to be a circular one so border radius the circular passing a value of 30 so let's save in the changes we are not seeing anything yet right um let's give this container chart right so the chart is going to be a test field in here so first of all let's place this in the row format we are going to have an icon and the icon is going to be icons.search icon so the color of this icon is going to be a white color And next to this icon is going to be the test field right so we need to wrap the test field in an expander widget so we are going to have an expander widget and provide it a test field in here
So let's start this test photo. So let's change the color over here to be a white color. And saving the changes. There we go, as you can see. Let's give it now space. And for that, I'll be wrapping the row in a pattern widget. And this pattern is going to affect it symmetrically. Give it a horizontal value of 16. And that will affect it left and right. You can see it shifts a bit. So we need to provide In test in the test field over here. So over here, I'm going to provide a test for the decoration that takes in the input decoration, where you can provide a hint text, and it expects a string, and that's going to be the search value. Let's give it a hint style. That's going to be the test style. Make the color to be white with opacity of zero point seven. There you go, you can see we are moving as expected. So let's change the border of this um input field to be input border dot none, right? So we don't want any kind of border around this input. There you go. Um we need to Place the filter icon for that. I will be copying this icon button, and next to this test field is going to be the icon button, right? So, in here, we need to change in. Sorry, it needs to be below the expanded widget. There we go. So, we need to change in the icon over here to be icons.filter list. Yeah, that's the right icon in here. So I think we are pretty much done with the top section, right? The up bar and also the search bar. So let's proceed to display the contents of the body, right? So let's provide a spacing, right? I'll give it a width of eight, saving the changes. So below this part, then you are going to have a size box for spacing, right? So give it a vertical spacing of 24. And below that is going to be an expanded widget, right? And container is going to be the chart of this expanded widget. And let's give this container decoration. So in here, it expects a boss decoration. Let's pass in the color of white over here. There we go. So we want the white to stretch to the very end. And for that, let's modify or add this additional property to the safe area, right? Set the bottom to be false and that will stretch out fixed um we also need to set a border radius for this container and this border radius is only going to affect the top right and left border radius dot only so with the top left it's going to take in the radius dot circular pass in a value of 30 and with the top right it's going to do do the same thing radius dot circular with a value of 30 so once we have that, we can save in the changes and can see we have our rounded border over here. So the next step is to display the content in this container, right? So the chart of this container is going to, to be a list view. So the chart of this container is going to be a list view, which expects a children over here. So let's give this we, um let's give this list view a pattern, right? So the pattern is going to be edge insets dot all, which is going to affect all size, provide a value of 16. And the, in the children in here, we are going to have our container as a first widget in the list view. Give it a height and also some decoration, right? So the decoration, we pass in the boss decoration with a gradient color, right? So the gradient expects a linear gradient which expects a list of colors to be passing. So here I need to pass in the colors, right? You're going to have basically two colors, the dark green color and also that gray color, yeah. So the first color is going to be hex value color. 
and has a dark green color. You also need to pass in the gray color. Saving the changes. There you go, you can see the gradient. So we don't want the gradient to be in this position, right? That's not according to the design. So we set the beginning of this gradient to be alignment alignment the top center and also we set it it's supposed to be end so we set the end to be alignment dot bottom right saving the changes there we go um so there's also another one more additional property you can add this to this linear gradient and that's the stop right so we're providing two values the first one is going to be 0 0.4 and the second value is going to be one you can see we are not having the same value so you can adjust the value to see how you want it so let's give this container border radius right so the border radius is going to be a circular one passing the radius which is going to be 20 in here there we go so let's give this container a chart, right? And it's going to be a row widget with an expanded widget as well. So column is going to be the chart of this expanded widget where we can place two tests in here, right? Per the design. So here we need to return a test, a test widget in here, passing the test so let's proceed to start this test right so the style attributes we can pass in the theme the team the test team the title large right then we can cooperate so in this cooperate we can pass in um a font weight and also change the color as well so with the font weight it's going to be bold and also change the color the color is going to be a white color So let's change this captor into small end so we can have the break of the test. There we go. And also let's set a cross as this element of this to be cross as this element of start. And let's wrap or provide let's set the main as this alignment to be center as well. And provide a pattern as well so wrap the column in a pattern widget of all size a value of 10 there we go so next to this test is going to be our more test right so i'll copy and repeat this test and changing the test over here And also changing the star, right? It's going to be theme dot test theme dot body small, and maintain the color to be white. So the main axis alignment is supposed to be space around, so we can have enough space around it. There we go. So one more thing to be placed in this container is going to be the image, right? So below the expanded widget, we are going to have an image, and this image is going to be from our assets directory, and the name of the image is going to be house.png you provide a width of 120 saving the changes there we go as you can see i think we are making progress so let's um make the width to be 130 and also set a box fit to be box fit dot cover there we go and below the image let's give some size box width a width value of 20 
okay so for this kind of design i think we didn't get exact thing but i get an idea um so let's provide some spacing over here as well give it a height of 24 so let's move on to the next widget so we are going to have a row widget for the children where we place the two tests right and for that let's say the main axis alignment of this row to be main axis alignment dot space between we want the two tests to be separated right we want to have enough space around it so in this we are going to have a test so i'll copy and repeat this test changing the text in here to be recommended for you And also, we don't need the copyright method, right? We don't need that. Let's set a font weight to be a bold. There we go. So next to this test, we are going to have a test button, right? by default so test button comes with unpressed and also the chart so the chart is basically going to be a test widget so here we need to change in the test to be by default and also changing the theme to be title small saving the changes there we go so next to this test is going to be an icon right so let's do that so it's going to be an icon oops nah this need not to be here let's come below so next to this is going to be an icon and the icon is going to be the keyboard arrow down icon saving the changes now this is not how we wanted it let's change the color to be mm, what am i doing wrong oh got it so we actually need to place the test in a row with the icon right so i'll wrap this test in a row widget and next to this test is going to be an icon there we go so this is how i wanted it to be So let's provide some space over here to render the property cast, right? So let's give this height of 16. The next widget is to render the property cast over here. And for that, I'll be creating a stateless widget below over here. Give it a name of property card. So this card is going to return a container, right? So the card is going to return container in here so in this container let's provide some decoration right let's give it a white color provide some border radius which is going to be a circular one so the border radius is going to be 20 and also some box shadow that expect a list of boss shadows here yeah. so you give it a boss shadow a color that's going to be colors that's black with opacity of 0 0.1 saving the changes and also give it a blur radius of 10 and also an offset value so the x is going to be 0 and the y is going to be 5 So the chart of this um, container is going to be a column. We are going to retain a column of the children where we can align our things in here. So let's retain the property card over here so we can actually see what's going on. 
So in this column, first of all, let's set the cross axis alignment of this column to be at the start. And the first widget to return is the stack widget, right? We want to place things on top and also position widgets in here. So we are going to have our image, and this image is going to be from our asset with a path from the asset slash the image name is going to be image one dot jpg saving the changes there you go as you can see the image so let's wrap the image with clip array right so the main reason why you are wrapping it in a clip array is to provide some border radius to this image right so let's pass in the border radius the circular pass in a value of 20 so let's save any change there you go So let's give this image a width of double dot infinity and also a fit. It is going to be boss fit dot cover. There we go. So below the image, we are going to position widgets on top of the image, right? So we need our position widget, give it a top of 10 and also left of 10, right? So the chart of the position widget is going to be a container. We give it some padding to this container and this padding is going to affect it symmetrically provide a horizontal value of 12 and also a vertical value of 6 in here so let's give this container decoration right so let's change the color in here the color is going to be has a decimal value color right so that's a green color kind of a green color here saving the changes so we need, actually need to give this container a border radius as well so that's going to be a circular one with a value of 20 and give provide a chart to this container so the chart of the container is going to be a test widget with a test of active so when you saving the changes you can see that's similar over there so we need to position two more widgets as well so i'll grab this position widget and below that so you're going to position at the top right right and the chart of this position widget is going to be a row with the children so in this children we can have an icon button with them press and also the icon so the icon in here is going to be the edit icon edit outline there you go and we need to um so let's provide a space so next to this icon is also going to be another icon right so let's give it horizontal spacing give it a width of eight let's start this icon button first so we can give it a style and that's going to be elevated button the style from change in the background color over here to be a hazardous my value color as per the design let's save the changes there we go so i'll copy this icon button and below here i'll repeat the same thing changing the icon name to be the link icon so icons.link outline and saving the changes there we go i think we are having something similar over here so the last widget to position on this image is going to be the price of the property, right? So I'll grab this position widget and this, we are going to position it at the very bottom right with the same value of 10, 10, right? So we need to change in the test in here to the amount. And that's going to be $250,000 as per the design and we need to change in the color over here so let's change in the color over here so the color is going to be colors dot black with opacity of 0 0.4 and also let's start the test as well so we can actually see changing the color to be white and also boarding it as well So we are going to have font weight of bold. Mm, 
There we go. So below the stack widget, we are going to have a column over here. So let's set across as this alignment of this column to be at the very start. And in this children, we are going to have a row widget where we can position a text and also an icon in here in the horizontal manner. So let's set the main as this alignment of this row to be space between. And in this children of the row, we are going to have a text widget displaying the name of the house. There we go. So let's start this test, right? So with a style. So over here, I can let's extract the theme, right, from the context. So theme that's of context. So we can make use of the variable theme dot test theme. Then we can assess the title medium. Then copy weight and change in the font weight to be font weight dot 400 and also changing the font size as well so the font size of 17 there you go let's provide some enough pattern around this so and for that i'll be wrapping the column in a pattern widget and this pattern is going to affect all size a value of 16 So next to the test is going to be an icon widget. So the icon is going to be the bookmark icon. So icons dot bookmark. Once the outline version of this bookmark icon. There you go, as you can see. So we need to move outside this row, provide some vertical spacing and proceed from here so here you are going to have a row with the children right so we want to return the icon and also the text as well the location icon so you are changing the icon to be the location underscore on changing the color over here that's the orange color let me actually give it um a name so it's supposed to be colors dot the deep orange accent color yeah exactly the same thing changing the size here to be 18. and next to the icon is going to be a test right so i'll copy this test and replace it and changing the text over here to be the location of the property There we go. So we need to change in the styling as well, right? So theme dot test theme. Dot body small. Then we copy weight, changing the color to be a gray color. There we go. I think we are almost there. Let's make it body medium. So below over here, let's also provide some spacing, vertical spacing and retain a row with the children as well. Placing an icon widget. So the icon is going to be the king bed outline. The color is going to be a gray color. The size maintain the same. So next to this icon is going to be A spacing horizontal spacing of four and next to that you are going to have a test widget displaying the number of bedrooms available that's going to be three bedrooms per design so give some width spacing as well so i'll grab this thing and replace the same 
you need to change in the icon and also the text as well right so this needs to be the number of buffs and also the icon is going to be buff top saving the changes there we go and i think we are pretty much done with a property card right so let's let me make some modification over here the color is supposed to be black color so you can make multiple repeats of this property card and you can see it reflects so i don't want to make um repetition over here so i'll use list.generate so i'll spread out and use list.generate that is better the length so in your person three and also you can assess the index here and return the property card so once we save the changes, you are going to have the same thing. So let's wrap this property card in a pattern widget. And this pattern is only going to affect the top side, a value of 12, saving the changes. And that's it. The last component to build is the bottom navigation bar. The custom one, so let's proceed with that. So let's wrap the scaffold in a stack widget, right? So we can position the bottom nav bar at the very bottom. So below the scaffold over here, we can have our position widget. The chart is going to be the home bottom nav, right? That's the custom one we're about to create. So this position is going to be at the bottom, provided a bottom of 50, give it a left value of 80 and also a right value of 80 as well so let's proceed to create this bottom nav so i'll create a widget directory so in this widget directory i'll be creating a new file and the file name is going to be the bottom nav so over here i'll be creating a stateless widget of home bottom nav bar so make sure we have the material that's import and also we are going to return a container in here and the height of this container is going to be 75 give it some decoration that takes in the boss decoration set the color to be colors.white and also give some border radius to this container as well and the border radius is going to be a circular one with a value of 40. so let's import this home now about to see what we have so far saving the changes there we go so um let's give some box shadow as well right so the box shadow give it a color it's going to be colors of black with some opacity of 0 0.1 give it a blur radius of 10 and also provide some offset value in here so give it an offset So the chart of this container is going to return the row widget and here we set the main axis alignment of this row to be main axis alignment of space around so we can have space around it and in this children we are going to return the navbar item which is a custom widget we are about to create so below right here i'll be creating the navbar item it's going to be a stateless widget and over here we are going to return an anchor right that behaves as a button make it touchable so the chart of this encore is going to be having a column with the children so in here we set the main as a size to be main as a size dot main and also provide some children in here so i'm going to have a circle avatar with a radius of 25 and also a background color So the background color is going to be based on whether it's active. So in for that, I'll be requesting for the icon in here. The label is active. And also on top, right? So let's require that in the constructor and comment this out. So the background color we are going to be based on whether it's active, right? So if it's active, you are going to return the team that's of contest 
then we provide a primary color else we can give it has a decimal value color mm, so over here the return type of assertive needs to be a boolean right not icon data and also on top needs to be the void callback function and also change the label to be expecting a string there we go so below here we're going to have so the chart of this circle avatar is going to expect the icon where you can pass in the icon dynamically right so you need to pass in the icon And also the icon the color is going to base whether it's active or not right so we are going to base on this conditional rendering and check if it's active then we are going to return a white color else it's going to maintain as a gray color so once we have another item we can go ahead and return multiple of these nav items right so in this row widget right we can read Return the Nava item which expects icon to be passing. And the icon is going to be icon.home field. It also expects the label to be passing as well. And also it's active. I expect a boolean value and on top functionality. So let's see if the change. Oops, we are having some kind of error in here. So let me repeat this three more times in changing the icon I think we are still getting the same error what's happening so let's change this to gesture detector I have an on top value All right there we go it actually works over here so over here let's set it's active to be false for the others and also changing the icon accordingly so we're going to have the chat icon, the bookmark icon, and lastly the profile icon, right? And that's the person icon. And there's one more thing to cover, right? We need to position or place this at the center of this container, right? Or this nav bar. So let's first of change in the label over here. So let's set this to be chart. This to be the bookmark and also the profile. So let's place this nav item to be at the center of the container. And for that, let's say the main as is supposed to be main as a size dot main. There we go. We have it as expected, and that's basically it for the home screen. See you in our next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned.